Hey everybody, hope you guys are healthy and safe. I'm in Hangzhou, China right now to attend Rocket's Open Day. So Rocket, if you haven't heard of them, they are a tech company that makes AR glasses, not just for the consumer side, but also for the business side. Like in all the museums in China, they all use Rocket glasses to look at things. So the Open Day is actually tomorrow where they will launch two new products. But I'm here today to interview the founder and CEO and also check out his really awesome Macintosh collection and also get an early first look at the products before they're announced to the world. I'm gonna have a tour of the headquarters too, so let's begin. These are the new products launching by Rocket Open Day. This is the new Rocket Max 2, and this is the Rocket Station 2. So this is like a brain into which you plug in the glasses. This guy has a Qualcomm Snapdragon 6 Gen 1 that will actually power an entire OS and allows you to open floating windows, kind of like the Vision Pro. The windows are a little bit smaller, but still, they're floating in front of you. You can have triple screen desktop setup, you can have some AR games that actually look and play pretty nicely. You can watch 3D movies and look at 3D photos. And the whole experience is pretty immersive. Unfortunately, this software doesn't have a screen recording mode yet. So the only way I can show you what I'm seeing is by sticking a phone behind the glasses. Rest assured, the real life footage to my eyes looks sharper and larger. I've been using AR glasses for the past three years now. I take it on every flight I take because I use it to watch movies. And when I go work at a coffee shop, I just plug in the Rocket Max and use it as a virtual display. Okay, so most of us know Rocket now for their consumer AR products, but before that, they made AR glasses for industrial use. So this is the Rocket X Craft. Came out in 2020 and is mostly used for like a construction sites. It's a quite impressive piece of tech. As you can see, it's X. X IP68 water and dust resistance and it's also explosion proof. And there's a camera here that can take pictures and also recognize hand gestures. So I'm gonna give it a try right now. Full screen mode. Oh wow, okay. So you can see this camera right now, it's tethered to the laptop, you can see exactly what I'm seeing. Zoom in. Select item three. Please hold. Now you can yeah, so I'm seeing like a 3D model right yes. now in front of me. And you can use your hands to come to. So this is the Roku Class 2, which is one of the earlier prototypes I tested in 2019. At the time, this was cutting edge, but now it obviously feels a little bit bulky compared to something like the Rocket Max or Rocket Max 2. So look at the size difference between the earlier model and the Rocket Max 2. You can see how far the tech has improved in just four years, five years. So I'm here with Dr. Misa Ju. Thank you. CEO of Rokit. Mr. Ju, can you please tell me about the products that are launching on Rokit Open Day? So we have the Rokit Max 2 and the Rokit Station 2. Yeah, we call that AR Lite. So the whole set is called AR Lite. AR Lite. Okay. Short answer is just a, a, a special computing platform. We got multitasking. You can do watch movie and web browsing, and of course do some like a coding or a productivity stuff. Yeah. So I actually got a demo of the Rocket Station Two earlier, and this thing is a big improvement over the first one because the first one, as Misha said, was mostly like an Android TV box. Yeah. But this one has a touchpad right here, and also you can open multiple windows so you have a floating window setup which would be very useful for me because i like to do work off a laptop at a coffee yeah. shop so have a virtual multi-screen setup so it's really cool to see dr ju is able to make a computing device this small now because dr ju grew up a huge fan of computers as i saw over there he has a collection of classic computers so can we go have a look and oh sure yeah, yeah. A little bit about yeah my question okay so this is his workroom i mean check out this collection of uh Classic computers here. And Dr. Chu, I think you said you grew up using the Apple II? Yeah, this is Apple II. Uh, I, I was using this computer when I was in junior high school. I wrote my uh, first code, first source code. Oh, you wrote the first source code? Yeah. Okay. It's, uh, I, I wrote my first code with the basic language. Wow, okay. So with this computer. And this one is my uh, computer when I was in uh, high school. So, so this computer actually is more about Steve Wozniak, and this one is more about Steve Jobs. Yeah, and their opposing okay. philosophy. Wow, and this is a... Uh, this is our generation, uh, first generation. Rocket Air. Uh, yeah, yeah. This, one of this the is actually the first uh, consumer AR uh, product in mm. the world. 
Okay, we call that uh, Rocket Air. The first consumer AR glasses in the world. Yeah. Okay, wow. And this is the Rocket Max? This is the Rocket Max, yeah. We are, we're now sitting... Uh, the first version. So the second generation is coming very soon. Yeah. This one is a mechanical computer. This one is pretty important because this computer actually was working for like building a uh, Chinese you know, nuclear bomb. Mm. So this one is actually so history. Uh, yeah. it, you get, you, it, it's got lost. Uh, history, so and uh, it's got a lot of stories. So it's, this one is actually pretty cool. And this is a rocket station, right? That's yeah, this is okay. We just use transparent to make sure that people. This is a special edition rocket station, transparent. Yeah, it's awesome to see the evolution of computers from something this big to now something that you can hold in your hand and you can wear a pair of AR glasses and have virtual screens that are much higher res than these screens right here. <laughs> you, you see the computer history, actually, you can figure out the future where uh, we're going to go. Mm. You see the past like uh, 40 years and then you can figure out what, what's, what's going to happen in the coming 10 years. Mm. So. Yeah, I think everybody agrees that spatial computing is kind of the future, right? Mm -hmm. Something like what the Vision Pro is doing, what, what Rokit is doing. So that's the future of computing going forward, maybe? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I think that's definitely true. Thank you so much for your time, Mr. Chu. Okay, it is now day two. I'm here outside the venue for Rocket Open Day. Check out this venue, man. The launch event's gonna be in one hour. Right now, there's like some open stations here for media from China and elsewhere to check out the, the products and features. So let's have a look. Okay, so like I said earlier, Rocket doesn't just make AR glasses for consumer side. They also make more expensive, higher tier products for industrial use. So this one is for developers, is the Rocket AR Studio. Basically, there's a camera here that maps the screen in front of me. And, uh, so right now, I see this floating thing on my screen and I can move it with my hand. So he's tracking my hand gesture. So Rocket's glasses is also used in China for students to, work, to wear so they can learn projects with real 3D graphics floating in front of them. Okay, so I just finished attending Open Day. It's really cool to see how much rocket glasses are used throughout mainland China because, you know, I obviously look at it from an outsider's perspective and a lot of my viewers too, they're from the US or from other regions where they look at rocket as one of several AR glasses companies and they use the glasses mostly just for consumer-related tasks. But then when you come inside China, you realize that Rocket has an entire higher tier of products for businesses, for museums, for hospitals, for schools. So these are professional tools to help people learn. And like what Misa and I talked about earlier, everybody in the tech industry believes that AR and spatial computing is the future. That's why Apple decided to go all in on the Vision Pro and augmented reality. So it's definitely a future and it's good to see how much the scene has improved, how much Rocket has improved in just five years. By the way, if throughout this video, you may have heard me call Rocket either Rocket or Rokid kind of interchange, it's because even inside the company, they use the two pronunciations interchangeably, like Rocket, Rokid, it kind of doesn't matter. But anyway, this is the, my video of the Rocket Open Day 2024. I hope you enjoyed th these type of vlogs. It takes a lot of work to film all this by myself. If you did, please subscribe to my channel. It will help me a lot. And I will have a full review of the Rocket Station 2 and the Rocket Max 2, together known as the Rocket AR Lite, pretty soon. Thanks for watching.